Australia on the Murray River. It's so beautiful, so peaceful out here. So I thought I'd cook a little lunch. This is spectacular. I'm showing off barramundi. Barramundi, it really is distinctive of Australia. I like it because it's a really large, flaky fish. So first of all, I've pat the skin dry. I've made sure there's no bones, skin on. And because I want that really crispy skin, what I do is just score it. So just three scores on that skin only. I've asked my fishmonger to make sure that he's taken all the scales off there. Also, a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to put that to the side, just for a moment, so I can get my lentils on. Lentils and fish, I love it because it really fills you up. Full of protein, full of fibre. I have a little bit of speck here. I'm just going to take the skin off and a little bit of that fat there. I don't mind if there is a, just a slight amount of fat because that's going to help flavour our lentils. This one's just got a little bit more fat than usual, so I'm just going to cut and trim it a bit more and then cut it into batters. Now I've got a pan that's nice and hot over here and I'm going to add a very small amount of olive oil, just a dribble. Wonderful. And then in with our speck and I want it to get really crispy and I want that fat to render off. I'll also add an onion to this. Now I've got a really large onion here, so I might just use half of this. We want to just finely slice. You could add some garlic to this if you like. And that can go in. Now we want that to soften up. Great, now let's give that a quick toss. How good does that speck smell? I love it. Now these lentils, you probably want about a handful of lentils per person. And to give it extra flavour, when I'm cooking my lentils, I add a bouquet garni to my water, which is just some bay leaf, a bit of thyme, some parsley, a carrot and an onion. And that'll infuse that water that you're cooking the lentils in, making them extra tasty. Now I'll add them in a moment, but this fish takes around four minutes to cook in total. So let's get it on. This other pan's really hot olive oil and in with our fish skin side down good sizzle and when you put the fish in I always just for the first 30 seconds just hold it down by holding it down again it's going to help it get that skin really crispy and stay super super flat see how it's just tightening there now with fish like this with the barramundi or any white fish it's so easy to see when to turn it you'll see the protein change from a really clear opaque colour to white. Now when that goes about halfway up, that's when we turn it, leaving it on the skin side, cooking it for about three minutes there and then turning it over for one minute. Now we can add our cooked lentils. We've got quite a lot there so I'll just keep some back. Let's toss that around in that yummy speck and onion mixture. And now so we make these lentils really creamy and saucy. First of all, a little bit of white wine. In it goes. You need to let that alcohol reduce down. You can see it's bubbling away furiously here. So that's already evaporated and you're just left with the perfume of the wine. That's at the stage that we can continue on. A little bit of Dijon mustard. It's a very French way of cooking, adding a little bit of Dijon mustard to finish off the lentils here. Mix it in and then a touch of cream. This is where it gets really yummy. A drizzle of that pouring cream in there and we just want that to thicken up. When you're pre-cooking your lentils, make sure that you don't season the water. If you do that, you'll get a tough lentil, not a soft lentil. So season it at this stage. Have a taste. Mmm. That is very good. It just needs a little bit of salt. The speck is seasoning it enough. Ooh. I could just have a bowl of that by itself, it's so good. Yummo. Okay, in the meantime, come over here to the fish. It's ready to be flipped over, turning it. Oh, you can't get better than that. That makes fish exciting for me. Let's turn this one over, and that one's even better. So I'm going to rest that for about oh, one more minute, and then we're ready to plate up. to add a little bit of butter to the pan here. So swirl around that butter and that's going to give that fish, especially 
on that flesh side, a bit of a nuttiness. I might just take one of these fillets off just to rest just for a moment there. Always tastes better when you rest your fish or any protein for that matter. Let's get this lovely green bowl here. Get a big spoon. Look at that. Yum. It smells so good because I can smell the wine and the speck at the same time. This makes lentils interesting because lentils can be a little bit boring, but when you zhuzh them up like this, they turn into something pretty wonderful. Fish goes on the top like that. And I have just a little bit of watercress here for a garnish. Just put a touch of that on top and a little cheek of lemon. Voila, the perfect dish. Doesn't need sauce because those lentils are saucy enough. A good Aussie barramundi with lentils is pretty delicious.